everybody and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm starting a new recipe that I've never done, but we are making slow cooker broccoli cheese soup. I am pretty excited to make something like this, so I'm here to share with you guys what you guys need. So what you guys will need is four cups of broccoli. Now I try to cut them in smaller pieces because I feel like if they're a little bit smaller, they'll cook a little bit better. You do need a half of a large yellow onion, so I chopped up a half of a large yellow onion. You need about two cups of shredded carrots. I just took regular carrots and just kind of shredded them and then cut them in half. We also need four cups of chicken stock. Now, I don't have chicken stock, but I do have chicken broth. I think it's going to be a little bit different, but that's okay. Um, this is just shy of uh, four cups, but I'm doing what I have at the house so I can use it all up. But you guys do want four cups of chicken stock. If you don't want to do chicken stock, you can do beef stock, and you can also do vegetable stock. You also will need a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. No, one, sorry. One teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper. You will need an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then we got two cups of cheese. Now you guys could use the cheese here or you could use a block of cheese. It's up to you guys what you guys want to do. And then you guys would need one cup of or a half a cup, a half and half. So what I'm going to do is get my crock pot ready and then put all the vegetables in and show you guys what to do next. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the broccoli in here. I also, you guys also want to put this on, on, what is, what do we want to put it on low. So we're going to put this on low. So we got the broccoli in there. We're going to throw the carrots. And then we're going to throw the onions in here. Weird, my camera just shut off on me, but now we're, we got all the vegetables in or the whatever. Now I'm going to pour the chicken broth in there. I think the stock's just a little bit thicker, but you know what? I'm just improvising. So we got one cup of that. If I had, if I have to add a little bit of water, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. But uh, yeah, the broth is a lot thinner than uh, the stock, but gonna get that and then I'm gonna show you guys the other ingredients to put in next okay so the next stuff you guys want to put in is we want to put one teaspoon of kosher salt you want to do a half a teaspoon of pepper and then an eighth teaspoon of nutmeg so I put those all in there so you're just gonna kind of sprinkle it in here and then what we're gonna do is just kind of stir it up a little bit so everything gets you know touched with that. Just dropping everything. So we're going to let this cook for about four and a half hours. I'm going to probably continue stirring it, but uh, eventually it'll kind of shrink down a little bit and then all the juices will sh soak up. So about four and a half hours, we're going to let this cook on low. So there we go. Okay, so this has been on for four hours. Um, we still got a half an hour left, but it did say to move the time up to high. So we're gonna have this cook on high for another half an hour, and then I'm gonna slowly add some cheese to it and the half and half. So let it cook for another half an hour on high. Okay, now it's been cooking for about four and a half hours. It's still on high. It says slowly add some cheese and mix it. So I'm just going to add some cheese to it. And then I'm just going to stir it in and let the cheese melt as I'm stirring it. Sorry, my camera's going to get like super foggy. But I do think shred it, if you shred the cheese yourself, I think it might be a little bit easier than the cheese that's already sh shredded. But it's all up to you guys what you guys want to do. I'm left-handed, so it's hard doing this right-handed. So we're just going to stir it. It's going to be a little bit of a chunkier cheese because I think you're supposed to use a block of cheese, but I like making everything easy and convenient. So I'm going to continue adding all the cheese and then you add half and half. So let me add the cheese and then we'll add half and half. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add a half a cup 
of the half and half. So we got that going on. And just stir it right in and we are done. It doesn't look as appetizing as like what I'm used to at like uh, Panera Bread, but it still smells exactly the same. I mean, it looks pretty decent, so I'm going to put it in a bowl and try it out and let you guys know how it tastes. Now, I did not use the freshest broccoli. I bought the broccoli and then I just get it, didn't get a chance to make the meal right away. So try to use fresher broccoli. That's why it doesn't look so green, but just want to let you guys know on that. So let's get ready to eat it.